Ready to initiate testing. Testing. <laughs> you the type to sit and wonder about what it's like to be a part of the animation process? Or maybe you're a seasoned pro looking to flex your skills. Well, have we got an event for you. Introducing Creators Jam. What's Creators Jam? It's the Creator Society's ultimate production challenge where teams of 10 are given one month to produce an original animation animatic. So what roles are there? Creative lead? Yep. Production manager, you've got it. Writers, story artists, editors, composers, and voice actors too. Many of the vital roles in a production are available. So you work your dream job or maybe try something new. Once you sign up, you're randomly placed into a team. That's right, just like in real life, you don't always choose who you're working with, which is a great way to network and make new friends. You and your team will work together to create a 30 second to three minute animatic from scratch. The character and story possibilities are limited only by your team's creativity and a super secret theme that will only be announced on the first day of production. It all leads up to a special premiere party where your shorts are judged by a panel of industry veterans with the top ones being shared live for everyone to enjoy together. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today and show off your creativity. Hello, everyone. If you don't know me, my name's Eric Miller. I'm the president and founder of the Creator Society. Uh, I wanted to thank all of you for coming. Um, uh, I worked with Lynn to kind of help put all uh, this on, but it was mainly kind of Lynn who kind of started it back uh, when we did it back in 2020, when we were looking for something to give people a chance to get together without getting together. Uh, so we kind of thought this would be a good way to get people that wasn't just a Zoom uh, panel or something. So last year we had a week to do all this. Uh, this time we had a month, so people had a little bit more time to kind of put things together. Um, but wanted to thank everybody for, you know, all the, the effort and everything that they put into doing this. So at this time, I'm gonna invite the judges to come on and then we will have them kind of one at a time uh, introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Everett Downing, and uh, I am a um, director, executive producer, and I've worked all over the place. Um, uh, I think the most recent thing I've done is My Dead Body Hunter, which will be coming out very soon. So. Michael? Hey, um, I am uh, Michael Lewis. I am a uh, EP, showrunner, uh, writer, and director. Uh, currently, Got a show over at Nick Jr. that I'm uh, cooking on. Um, and I'm directing a series, a brand new series, over at Nickelodeon right now. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm a voice actor, um, dubbing producer, and also voice director. In terms of voice direction, Abominable, the uh, DreamWorks' TV show, is currently out on Hulu that you can check out. Um, let's fill you. Uh, I'm Carl Johnson. I am a composer, and um, I've been working in uh, music for animation for, it turns out, 30 years. I just added it up. Seems crazy, but uh, worked on Batman the Animated Series and uh, Animaniacs, Goof Troop, um, 
stuff like that. Uh, and most recently have been uh, working on Looney Tunes cartoons for Warner Brothers, which is uh, on HBO right now. Um, so glad to be here. Uh, the next is Enchanted Bee Witch. Hey, I'm Julianne Dean from Team Enchanted. Um, so uh, thank you to my brilliant team. Uh, it's not just me. The whole team was absolutely amazing. I'm just going to quickly say their names. John Peters, Amelia Clover, Rebecca Davis, Anthea Greco, uh, Greco Brittany Joyner, Olivia Schwartz, Cara Reddy, Craig Smith, Emily Sal Salitzer, and uh, Greg Scamato. I mean, especially those last three at the very end, they were working their bottoms off to get it done. Uh, and we went for a blessing in disguise theme. We really went for it with a our main little girl being a, called B, which means blessing. <laughs> You'll find out a, a bit more about uh, the theme. Um, and uh, we wanted something uplifting and, um, and we wanted something that was funny and character based because I'm a voice actor and so we worked a lot on the voice track and the characters and so I hope you love it as much as we do. All right. It's already All Hallows Eve and you haven't cursed a single human. I'll curse the humans Miss Hedwitch ma'am. Um, curse you! Curse you humans! I'm not like that you moron. She means like this. You, you mother human! I need a magic curse, you imbeciles! Enough! I'm coming down there right now to curse you both! Your stupidosity did it now, boy, Sandra! Nuh uh, it was your dumbity, Colindra! <gasps> she got here fast. To lick a tweet! <laughs> <laughs> She's a lot shorter and squeakier in person. I want a tea party! Oh! What? Right, um, right, right away, away your, your hideousness. hideousness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 share! What? Feelies. Okay. Huh. Mm, yum. Yum. I want the punishment. <laughs> Click out tweet! Huh? The human ritual? Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hmm. You know, you're looking horridly rancidy tonight, Poissandra. No, you do. No, you do. I'm serious. No, you do. I want. <laughs> Fly! Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You fly better than a raven, Collie. Thank you, Poisey. You fly better than a head witch. So here you fools are with a. Well, you've actually done something right for once. A human, huh? Come, let's curse her into a newt. You fools! You came for this. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, little witch. Little witch. Me. Oh, I was worried sick about you. Candy, my vomitous sister. No, oh, you know I won't say no, you foul gangrenous witch. Oh, gangrenous, you're the most gangrenous. You're so frantic. You stink to high hell. You smell like fire. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, congrats to the team. That was really, really a uh, great job. I mean, super solid the whole way through. Like, the fact that you were able to get it to such a, like, finished state was pretty impressive. So kudos to the team. Um, I thought the story was really, really sweet and uh, really distinct character voices as well. You guys did really great. 
thought it was super charming and super clever. Uh, I thought uh, it, it, it's, it's funny, we, we've watched all of these a few times, of course, you know, just just to get it in our brains. And this was one of the ones where the more, the more I watched it, the more I chuckled. So I, I, think, I think there's some fun little hidden gems in there that have been built in. Um, I think uh, story-wise, you can just be tightened a little bit, but I think overall it's very clever. Uh, it's a fun, unique uh, take on a story and the, the usage of the theme, the, the sort of secret theme, nailed it, it was really great. Yeah, I, I echo a lot of what's already been said. I love the F-bomb, like right off the bat to drop an unexpected humor like that. And also you did kind of like this double reverse thing where like, you know, when the when we see the kid, we're like, oh, okay. And then, then we flip it, then you flip it back, you know, towards the end. I think the only thing I could say is that you know, when you get, when when you're taking her out and she goes, I want a, and then, you know, the two other witches are like, oh no. I think those comedy beats just can be like tightened up and and that would increase the drama and, and the build and the pacing and stuff. And it would just make it have, feel like it has momentum, you know, but great job. Yeah, I, I agree. Great job. Uh, nice story. Uh, all of the visual and sound effects elements, everything worked really well. Uh, music did, uh, really complemented everything. Great. Nice job. Um, you got all the beats, uh, all the right moments. Um, the one thing that I, I was thinking um, it, that I could have heard that I didn't was the moment where the, the child's mother shows up off screen and uh, we don't really know if it's a good person or a bad person or if it's gonna be a heartwarming moment. Um, the score might have been able to help us a little bit with that moment before we get into it, but um, it, it worked great once we got into the uh, into the next shot. But, uh, but really nice job, everybody. Super well done. <laughs>